Edis Tianshan is in Gaziantep near the Turkish-Syrian border. He joins us now live. Hi, Edis. What form will this U.S. support for Turkish military operations actually take? Well, the Turkish Defense Minister Fikri Ushuk hasn't exactly specified how exactly the United States would provide further support, but the U.S. administration has all along uh, approved of the Turkish operation called Euphrates Shield that is currently going on in northern Syria. And in fact, in a number of times, uh, the U.S. and uh, the coalition, the international coalition that it leads, have also uh, were uh, taken part in a number of airstrikes that were carried out against Daesh targets targets in the area. But that support uh, was uh, felt as insufficient by Turkish authorities, uh, as in the current phase of the operation, they've been uh, trying to capture the city of Al-Bab for some months now. And there's been uh, quite a number of casualties on both sides, including scores of Turkish soldiers. So it is very important that now uh, the U.S. pledges further support in that operation. We assume that it will come uh, mostly in the form of airstrikes, further airstrikes on strategic uh, Daesh targets. But remember that Turkey is asking not only for uh, military support on the ground, but they are also pretty much asking for uh, political support, in this case, especially in the context of uh, YPG, because there is still a sticking point between the two allies. Uh, while the United States sees them as a partner in Syria in their fight against Daesh, YPG has repeatedly carried out terror attacks on Turkish soil and is very much considered a terror organization. And at this point, they are concerned that YPG could take control in parts of Al-Bab as soon as the city is taken from Daesh. So they are re reiterating their calls uh, on YPG to withdraw to the east of the Euphrates River. This position was also adopted by the United States, but we're seeing that YPG still hasn't uh, fulfilled this demand. So it is still very much hoped uh, that the United States will continue to support Turkey also politically in this regard. It is hoped because uh, it's really, it's fair to say that it's more than a sticking point, uh, this U.S. and Turkey issue over support for the YPG. What is on the agenda to actually resolve that? Because it contradicts Turkey's anti-terrorist policy. Well, uh, they, I think it will very much depend on the new position by uh, the President Trump. We've heard him express uh, a few times in the past that uh, they need to emphasize their partnership uh, with Turkey in the Middle East, that they see Turkey as very much one of the uh, most important allies in the region. So we are waiting to see whether that will also be applied in their policy now. We understand that uh, United States in the past, for a long time, they have actually invested in uh, what they see as an important asset in Syria. YPG is part of the larger SDF the coalition, the Syrian Democratic Forces Coalition, a largely Kurdish group that is also backed not just by the United States, but by also some of the European uh, allies. So in a way, it seems difficult whether these Western powers will immediately be able to give up uh, their investments in those groups. But as we've seen seen over and over again the way things are progressing in northern Syria, uh, Turkey and its Operation Euphrates Shield is quite important, is going to be significant uh, in, a, in the attempt to defeat Daesh in northern Syria. So I think in a way the United States is also starting to realize uh, that by supporting the FSA uh, and Turkey on one side and the YPG in that very same region is simply not feasible anymore. Okay, Eddie Stianchen joining us there live. Thanks so much for that.